just like everybody else, I saved a lot of coins over the years. And I really do like saving coins. But I started so long ago, I didn't know that now people say my coins are worthless. Uh, that might be so. But I've been saving coins for a long time. I mean, you can tell by the dust on this one. I just finally got this one back out. Uh, I have to agree with you. I mean, I saved a lot of coins. Quite a few. All different kinds. They're worth face value. If you have grandkids or something like that, then they're worth a lot more because you can pass your coin collection down to them. Um, and the big part of this is, is that if you're a coin collector and you were a coin collector in the 70s and 80s and stuff like that, don't sound that long ago, but it really is. But people in the coin community will say your coins are worthless. They're not worthless. Seriously, you put hundreds and hundreds of hours into doing your coin and wrapping them up. This is just a small example of what I got. I mean, it's a tremendous amount. But one of my grandkids did these coins with me, but he doesn't remember uh, because he was only like seven, eight years old. And now he's in his mid-20s. Uh, if he would have remembered, I would give him this whole box right here just to put away for himself because there's a lot of different nominations in there. I'm saying when you go in coin collecting, I had to change my whole strategy. I started going with brand new United States Mint. Not intended for circulation coins. And I do have a lot of circulated coins because I've been buying them for such a long time. Um, and I do make pins out of them. Yes, I do. Uh, and the same with my table. I make all my own stuff. Beautiful table. Um, of course, I'm a coin collector, so I got to have some coins in here somewhere. But let's open this box up because this is going to be another tremendous one right here. This is the $500 box of quarters. Uh, I would like to say that, yeah, I'm going to find some silver. Uh, I haven't found silver in almost two years. And I searched lots and lots of boxes. So most of you people out there say, oh, I find silver all the time. I'm glad for you. Uh, I think you're misleading people, but that's okay. Um, I did hear there's a lot more silver being found in different states like Ohio and stuff like that. So we're going to have to take a trip all the way down to Ohio and see if we can't shed some light on this. But keep coin collecting because it is a tremendous hobby. It keeps your mind active. And there's still a lot of beautiful coins to look for. A lot of people don't like the Bicentennials and the new ladies coins. You know, and the 2009 quarters. Uh, they're worth collecting. I mean, I do. I collect a lot. And what you call it, non-attended for circulation, like the 2011 half dollar. It's a beautiful, beautiful coin. I tried to save all the nice coins in real good condition. I actually even look at them in the microscope to make sure <coughs> they're about the best of the best that I can get. Uh, these... Won't even be passed down because I really don't have no grandchildren of my own. And I only have one daughter that is kind of interested in it. And my other daughter thinks a lot of it is just random shit. But this is not intended for circulation. It's in beautiful condition. It has full hair. Um, these all go for a premium. Um, but I'm going to put a tremendous amount of these away. Not a tremendous amount, but all the dates I find, I found quite a few, and I still haven't got them packaged yet. But keep collecting. Just save your coins. You might be able to pass them down to your grandchildren. And they can pass them down to their children. And they can say, hey, my grandpa put so many hours into this. Hours and hours and hours into this. And 
it's a tremendous amount of money because you got to consider the gas. You got to consider taking them back in and all that other cool stuff. Ooh, we got a Canadian right there. That might be a silver. <laughs> I guess you can find silver, but it's not the nomination that we're really looking for. We're looking for the United States because the United States is one of the baddest countries in all the world and we will be again once we get rid of this bozo president that we got in there um we all have a tremendous nice day and thank you very much oh uh, leave me a thumbs up if you can if you can't i don't understand because i give everybody videos a thumbs up because the creator this is a tremendous amount of whatever that your body goes through to be able to do things like this and i actually I really don't cut my videos that much unless my button gets hit. So, give me a thumbs up. You all have a beautiful weekend.